In what appears to be a desperate attempt to salvage a season that's quickly unraveling, the Arizona Cardinals pulled the trigger on a trade for Carolina Panthers wide receiver Robbie Anderson. In this video, I'm going to discuss Anderson, the trade, and what it means for the Arizona Cardinals. Week 6 was brutal for the Cardinals. The Cardinals offense managed to put up only 3 points against Seattle's 32nd ranked defense, and late in the game, Hollywood Brown went down with a foot injury. It was originally feared that the injury was potentially season ending, but recent reports suggest he's likely to be sidelined closer to 6 weeks. But with DeAndre Hopkins set to return from his suspension, the Cardinals were hoping that Hopkins and Brown could help get the sputtering Cardinals offense off the ground. But with Brown sidelined, the Cardinals decided to acquire Anderson from the Carolina Panthers. Anderson is a 29-year-old wide receiver who played collegiately at Temple. He's 6'3", 190 pounds, and ran a 4'3", 40-yard dash. Anderson was signed as an undrafted free agent in 2016 by the New York Jets, and he's had a nice career considering that he won undrafted. After four seasons with the Jets, he signed as a free agent to play for his college coach Matt Rule with the Carolina Panthers, and Anderson had the best season of his career in 2020, recording 95 receptions for 1,096 yards and three touchdowns. Anderson struggled in 2021, as did the entire Panthers offense, and seemed to be on his way out after the Panthers fired Matt Rule this season. His impending departure from the Carolina Panthers was all but sealed when Anderson was sent to the locker room during the Panthers' Week 6 game by coach Steve Wilkes after Anderson got into an argument with a member of the coaching staff. Enter Steve Keim and the Cardinals, who acquired Anderson in exchange for a six round pick in 2024 and a seventh round pick in 2025. And based on the structure of the contract, the Cardinals will only add a cap hit of $690,000 in this trade. So what does Anderson bring to the Cardinals? Well, he is known as a deep threat. Remember, he ran a 4-3-6-40 out of college. I don't think he's at the same level of Hollywood Brown as a receiver, but he is a solid NFL receiver. Now, with the way things have gone down in Carolina and his exit, there are some concerns about his attitude for lack of a better term. But it is worth noting that the Cardinals receiving coach Sean Jefferson coached him in New York. I have to imagine the Cardinals consulted Jefferson about Anderson before making this trade. Now in the end, this might end up being nothing more than a desperate move. But with Hopkins returning and the season quickly slipping away, the Cardinals had to do something. And in terms of what they gave up, a sixth round pick and a seventh round pick, and the minimal cap hit that they're paying, I think this was probably as good of a trade as the Cardinals could have made in this situation. I don't know if this trade is going to be enough to salvage a season, and odds are it probably won't be. But I do think this is a good trade for the Cardinals. What do you think of the Anderson trade? Let me know in the comments below. Also, please be sure to click like and subscribe for more Arizona Cardinals content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on The Cardinal Rule.